G'day, I'm Andrew from Barrow Diesel. You don't always see me with my glasses on, but I'm going to have to, to read the fine print here. I'm getting older. Anyway, I've had taken the time out with this lovely 80 series in for a bit of tuning to do some additional runs. Second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and fifth gear runs. Main reason to be to probably show people what happens because nobody usually shows that between different gears. Why should you be dynoing in this gear, that gear, when really we say it's in some ways nearly irrelevant? You should be looking at what changes you make in air fuel ratios. And of course in percentage gains but a big one i get is towing oh my land cruiser always jumps out of six gear when i'm towing my 30 foot caravan and i'd want it to stay in six gear well, if we come right over here to the torque graph this is fifth gear but it's the lowest torque by far if we come right up to the top here we've got peak torque in second gear at 664 newton meters if we come down here we've got peak torque in third gear of 392 so we've virtually halved it already we come up to fourth gear, we go from 392 down to 256, we've dropped 140 newton meters, virtually halved it again between third and fourth gear, and then we go to fifth gear, which is just below it, we drop another 40, 50 newton meters in torque. Given the fact that we're starting at 250 in fourth gear, dropping nearly 50 newton meters is already 20%. So no matter what anybody says or what you believe to be true or not, when you're towing, you don't really tow in overdrive gears. And the reason being, overdrive gears, you lose the most torque. If you have enough grunt to keep it in overdrive and not change out of that gear, you've either got a real monster of a machine towing or you're going to end up with all sorts of long-term gearbox issues. Now, we're not gearbox experts here, but for as long as I've ever been around, I'm sure the gearbox guys could certainly agree with it, overdrive gears swallow up power and you get less power coming out. So that goes in somewhere in that gearbox and gets eaten up and output it as heat. Mechanical temperature heat in there somewhere along the line and load. So if we come over here and have a look at the kilowatts, we do vary a little bit, but I guess not sort of dramatically. We go from probably 60 odd kilowatts in second, still about the same in third gear. Fourth gear we drop a little bit under 60 and fifth gear a little bit more. So we drop a little bit in kilowatts, not dramatically, but torque. If you have a look at these graphs here, it's like night and day. Now I will get a 200 series and do that on here, on our uh, dyno of course, when I get a chance, to show people how bad the torque drops as you get into sixth gear. But be very, very aware when you're doing towing, it's not going to hurt any ink to drive probably firstly at a road speed that's safe. And if that means you're going down a gear, you'll be at a better torque range than what you're going to be doing when you're in those top overdrive gears. So there's a bit of an interesting one. I've got that in our Berriman Diesel magazine. I've done some videos. I haven't done like one like this for a while, and I get asked these questions every day. So here it is with the talk. We'll have a good look at the um, 200 series as soon as I get one up on the dyno, maybe even a little bit later today. I'm Andrew from Berriman Diesel. You can see me when I've got these glasses off, no doubt. Um, keep watching for some of these interesting videos. We do them from time to time on our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, or at berrimadiesel.com where you can find out more about looking after your diesel.